got to do is figure out how all those pieces fit together. And that's kind of the study of biblical prophecy. God has given all the pieces. They're all there already. And the same way it takes time to put together this puzzle, what Daniel's going to teach us is that to put together the puzzle pieces of prophecy concerning the future of Christ's second coming, it takes time. You see, biblical prophecy like a puzzle, God has given us the pieces, but we won't know how they all fit together until the time of the end. Our blessed hope, Titus 2.13. We're waiting for the rapture. We, have, we as the body of Christ, saved Christians, know that there is going to come a time when this dispensation called the church age will come to an end. And, and why, why we're still in the church age, if the rapture hasn't happened, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood atonement, the good news of the gospel Paul gave at 1 Corinthians 15.1-4, where Jesus died and was buried on the third day rose, is still available to all to come and put your sins on Jesus Christ. See, your, your one sin is enough to send you to eternal hellfire. Past, present, future sins, um, one of them is enough to send you to lake of fire and separate you from God for eternity. So we have a sin problem as man, all of us. Even the saved people have a sin problem. And so what does that mean? In order to be reconciled, to be forgiven, to be, have salvation, to have eternal life, to live forever with God, you need to come to that realization that you, you're a sinner in need of a Savior and put your trust on what he did on the cross at Calvary. God and man formed the Messiah Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago where he died and shed all his blood for the remission and forgiveness of your sins past, present, future. All sins will be washed away when you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth on the good news that Jesus died for you, was buried and rose on the third day for the forgiveness of your sins. And Ephesians 2, 8, 9 tells us clearly, not by works lest any man could boast. Again, it's grace. It's a free gift. Accept it while you still can.